Morning guys. Uh, today's an interesting morning. A um, lot going on in and around central London, Whitehall, uh, such as this for example. Yeah, why? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> I actually have no idea, but I will ask. I will find out uh, who all of these magnificent soldiers are and what the occasion is today. I did notice the road closure a moment ago, but I thought they were starting to close down certain parts of central London ready for tomorrow's marathon. The uh, London Marathon is tomorrow. Big, big, big event. Uh, let me find out. <laughs> Hi, morning. Can I ask, what, what's the event this morning? It's um, St George's Day. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, of course it is. Thank you very much. God, I'm embarrassed, folks. I should have known. St George's Day. Look at this. Absolutely magnificent. What a way to start the morning, eh? And it's beautiful, and it's sunny, and it's bright, and it's spot on. A lot of people seem to have thought the marathon's today. Look, they got it wrong. It's not today. <laughs> morning. <laughs> uh, he saw the camera. He's like, hey, mum. Brilliant. Uh, guys, 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 stop, everybody. Stop. It's not today. Wait, why is this girl sitting on the floor? Oh, is it for... Oh, look. It's a photo shoot with a dog. That's kind of cute, I guess. Look, I actually thought the photographer had fallen over. <laughs> photographer's laying on the floor. Yay! <laughs> That's walking <laughs> that way. It's like, wait, hold on. She actually hired a professional photographer to get a picture of her dog with the phone box. Okay, I mean, I guess some people have far too much money and far too much free time, but hey, it's her life and it's her cash. So there we are. Uh, let's hope that we can make it to Horse Guards. There's the RSM, everybody. Regimental Sergeant Major. Let's hope we can actually get through. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely packed. Look at it, look. It's packed. We've got soldiers, we've got sailors, we've got everything. To be honest, wow, it's real busy. I'm half tempted to walk down there, but folks, as I've said before, this channel is primarily about horse guards. I could get massively distracted, but I don't think that's particularly smart. Uh, the central area is completely closed. Now, the only thing I'm wondering is how, if at all, this will impact the morning at horse guards. I honestly have no idea. Let's hope we haven't made uh, a dreadful mistake by trying to get there before the first horses come out. Uh, that happens in just five minutes from now, so mm. I'm not sure that this uh, this barrow ring will extend all the way down. Let me ask the officer. Morning, officer. Do you know if horse guards are still open or also closed this morning? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. I know they've got mini marathons. But, um, oh, wait, today's a mini marathon? A mini marathon, yeah. And then tomorrow's the main marathon? Yeah. God, and okay. This is St George's Day, I was just told. Oh, thank you so much. Ah, what a, a th thoroughly splendidly spoken fellow. Navy officers in the middle, sorting things out. Uh, naval cadets walking past me on the left. Gosh. So there is a mini marathon this morning. Will that impact and or close horse guards? I have no idea. I don't think it will. However, well, it's too early. However, uh, it could be the case that certain things are partially closed. For example, Downing Street guys, the the king's guard might well come out but the gap back gate might still be closed as well there's no way of knowing the only way we're going to find out is when we get there it looks like the cordon that's been put up ends just before horse guards let's hope so i mean it really is a magnificent morning for st george's day i should be embarrassed actually that i didn't realize but hey uh, i'm not really one for events full stop so that will probably explain that as all of you know it's two minutes, folks, two, three minutes until the first horses are due out. Um, if the box is not unlocked now, um, sadly, we're going to be very disappointed there'll be no horses. But I'm pretty optimistic. I don't remember the horses being removed last year during the marathon. Quite the opposite, actually. I remember the sheer amount of noise uh, with the King's Guard well behind the barrier ring. So we will see mini marathon okay so this weekend in london is going to be as close as possible to an actual nightmare uh, in terms of getting around and or filming as possible 
shame. Uh, I wasn't out yesterday, guys, hence posting uh, previous gems. Uh, because sometimes real life does enter the equation unexpectedly, as it did yesterday. Okay, so the front gates are open off horse guards. I've seen two officers that I know well. Let me ask these uh, two MDP officers if it's going to be open or closed this morning. Hi, right, good morning. Open as normal today, or a little bit of a mix? Uh, open as normal as normal gets around here, yeah. <laughs> That's a good see point. How the, see how the day, see how the day goes. Fingers crossed. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's open tomorrow because of marathon, but yeah. I don't think they're having anything out at all. Oh, yeah, to be honest, I would have expected it's going to be too much noise and chaos, isn't it? Brilliant. All right, cheers. Thank you. Lo love that officer. He's a super nice guy, in fact. Uh, lots and lots and lots of police. Look, police vehicles all completely closed. They've shut down Whitehall. However, as you heard, wonderfully, we are having a full King's Guard today, everybody, but not tomorrow. And the reason for that is that tomorrow, this area will form part of the warm-up area, would you believe? Look warm-up area and start pens this way through to the back annoying and oh hold on what's this gosh it's very 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 busy in the yard everyone look it's crazy busy in the yard what on earth is going on this morning wow I will get myself on the corner out of the way all of these lads looking magnificent this morning absolutely Corporal of Horse. I'm not seeing uh, umbrellas and bowler hats, which for me is a surprise because ordinarily we see these lovely ladies and gents here. That would equal umbrellas, bowler hats, the officer class at least anyway. Now the annoying thing is, seeing all of this, is the way the sun is kind of slightly destroying the image. I'm going to try and get a good clear picture. There we are. That's pretty... Uh, pretty much as good as I could hope for I think for some reason the camera is not quite straight this morning there, I manually held it straight it's resisting my efforts to straighten it but it is what it is and there we are so they all seem happy uh, and the King's Guard are going to come out any moment tourists are about to get moved there is a trooper he's coming out right now all looking splendid though the uh, the chats behind me the troopers even like hold on a second is it an invasion? I thought this was HCAV, uh, HCAV purview, horse guards. All of a sudden there's more household division here than there are HCAV, uh, which is extraordinary. But hey, if I can ask anybody here, uh, if they're new intake for Wellington, I will ask them. But obviously I don't want to intrude because it's a private morning for them. First horse of the day, guys. Busy, actually. The yard's normally dead for the first, uh, first change over the day, but not today. Really extraordinary, I mean really extraordinary. Oh, one doesn't want to work. What a surprise. I think it's because you just see this massive line of people uh, standing there staring at him. Porter's like a bit shy. Maybe even the troop is a bit shy. I mean as I pan around you can see what the horse sees. That is a somewhat unusual view. Uh, for a horse emerging. One second. Hi, I'm Mike. Are you going to take a Wellington or what's for all of these guys? Is my household division? Uh, yeah, when basic training. Ah, okay, but to, yeah, to be a household division later on? Yeah, yeah, in the future. Oh, wow, wow, so oh, wow. We're, we're here on a, a visit, but they are not household division yet. Okay. Yeah, I seem to see a few groups here with normally with GSM Stoke, so to see all this. So, uh, so maybe sort of one day, hopefully. Yeah, if they, if they, if they work hard. Yeah? I know none of you have an umbrella or a bowler hat as well. Where are the umbrellas and bowler hats? Is that when you're doing the no, winter? No, that's officer. That's, that's, that's the, uh, if we were in, well, that's officers usually. Yeah? We're, we're on a more relaxed day. I mean... Mini marathon today, and then London marathon tomorrow. I noticed that even the horse that nervous when he came out to have a, like a massive line, a wall of of new experience well, recruits. That is a wall you don't want to put. <laughs> That's a that good way to put like, it. Even if, even if the M passed up, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant, mate. You heard that uh, from the from the lovely soldier next to me. He said that is all you don't want to <clears throat> with, and he's right. He is absolutely bang on them. 
Hang on the money. They're laughing about it now. Hang on the money. Okay, officer's not having it. Look. He's like, get inside. Look, everyone, get inside. Okay, so we've got the uh, Gatesman Shitsman change over. I'm very curious to see what happens when with the new Gatesman. There's no, there's no Gatesman behind them because it's the first shift of the day. Let's see what happens when the Gatesman comes out to approach this lot uh, and go into his post. That will be an interesting thing to see. Let's see what happens. Obviously, telling everybody to get back. The tunnel is absolutely jammed solid. Yeah. NCO. And our first two troopers for foot guard duty today yeah, at horse guards. The back is. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Good lord. The trooper slipped and fell. Oh, good heavens. Never seen that before. He's alright though, that's the main thing. He just, he's just slipped over, so his boots. Yeah. No embarrassing. Good lord, that's unfortunate. He's alright though, that's the main thing. Keep going, like that's great. Yep, absolutely. Respect to the trooper. Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. That's an interesting one, guys. We're gonna need to uh, give a little bit of thought about that. Um, we didn't see, he wasn't facing the camera when he fell. I, I, I don't know, let me think about it. Difficult one, that. And the Gatesman, folks. It is our Lady Gatesman today. And this is gonna be interesting because the Lady Gatesman, oh, luckily the police and the Corporal of Horse are helping out. And obviously these all being soldiers, they will understand immediately that they need to stand aside for there. Arguably, well not arguably, actually seen it. Oh, GSM Stokes guys is emerging. Look at this. Here's the boss. And in they go. What up? Wow, we got here just in time to see that, didn't we? What an absolute pleasure. They all look amazing. And I really like how direct that chap was when he said, you don't want to, <coughs> with this lot. He was bang on the money with that. Very serious looking bunch, but lovely, friendly, uh, and a proud proud thing to see I mean for me personally something kicks off that lot will be there first to deal with it okay so back to the front it's packed guys it's absolutely flipping packed at the back when everyone comes through the tunnel oh good lord I didn't want to think about it who is on whoa <laughs> guys it's, it's flipping massive I don't even know which horse it is wait <laughs> you want or you want? Oh, okay. oh man. They just went to, to put the two troopers in the tunnel, the first two. Mm -hmm. When they walked into the tunnel, one fell on the floor. Really? Oh. So I'm a little bit like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. actually, he slipped and fell on the floor. Helmet came off everything, so I really don't know what to do about that. Uh, guy, a uh, boy, a uh, uh, gem, guy trooper. So, yep, yeah, a little sign. bit. It's a bad sign. It, it, it is a bad <laughs> sign. Today's going to be mad. Mini marathon later. Yeah. And then tomorrow's another map. Ugh. Oh man. Okay, right, folks. Let's have a quick look. Who is this massive, giant, glorious horse? I mean, flipping up. This horse is absolutely gigantic. Look how close to the top of the box. I don't even remember seeing this horse before. Either that or I'm dreaming. Wait, I've got to get an ID ASAP before it gets busy here. Let's have a quick look. See which horse it is. I need the camera focus on magnificent horsey for the moment. I think I've got the number. Right, yeah, I've got the number. Have a quick look. People just standing here, open mouth, guys. Look at the size of the horse look, compared to the girl, even. It's absolutely giant. This horse is bigger than Q10. Oh, guys, would you believe it doesn't exist on the list? How the hell does it not even exist? It's got to be a brand new one. That would explain why the uh, yeah the number's clear. It's not on the current list. It's a new horse. That explains why uh, when I said I'm pretty sure we haven't seen this one before, I was uh, I was bang on the money. Let me try and get a super super close up with the hoof just in case. I'm 99% certain about the number. Surprised if Taurus gets super close because it's so big. Yeah, that is like a very, very fresh print. Look at the size of the horse, guys. Honestly, I swear this is the highest, tallest horse we've ever seen. 
it's got to be 18.3. Which when you think you've seen it all, they produce another one. It looks young, it's a very young horse. But yeah, that number does not exist on the list. It's not there. And that is a bit unfortunate. I'm sure one of you will know who it is. We've got three horses, two below it and one above it on the list, but this actual number is a new number that's never appeared on the list before. So either this horse has been in Melton for months, or, my guess, uh, ex-coach horse, just like Indigo, and they bought this coach horse probably from Windsor, uh, down for the lifeguard duty in London. That would be where my money's at. If one of you knows better, uh, and I'm sure at least one of you do, you know who I'm talking about, uh, let me know. But it, beauty, an absolute stunning beauty of this horse. Look at the size of it. Two stockings at the back, two socks at the front. The two stockings are ex extraordinarily uniform at the back. Look at it. It doesn't even look real. And it has that majestic indigo-like pose. Let me get a picture kind of from this side a little bit. So just have an idea of the scale of this gigantic horse. Look, I'm really far back, guys, to fit it all in. Look how big it is compared to the tourists when they stand next to it. Okay, so the mini marathon is ongoing. Luckily, there's no music, noise, PA system. See all the runners over on the uh, far side of Whitehall. Okay, this is good because it means that the crowd and the spectators are being kept way, way away from horse guards uh, and from the king's guard, etc. I'm happy about that exceptionally happy about that I will try if I'm in the right spot uh, to capture GSM Stokes leading all the troopers out uh, when they finished golly gosh wow that's a shocker oh the bollards have retracted look but they kind of seem to have gotten stuck one's right down the other one's at footrest level and then the third one's fully turgid how curious Okay, let's go and have a look at uh, our Gatesman and Chitsman. Extraordinary thing to see the uh, the Chitsman take a tumble. But as the chap said to next to me, it said something like a, a very professional, you know, good to see how quickly he got up. Got up, carried on. That was not an easy thing to do because that was quite a hard fall. And I think all of you heard the clack as, uh, as his kit hit the floor. It was definitely the chap trooper, 100%, because it would have been hard to know, but I could see on the other side, as she went by, the gatesman is a lady trooper today. Uh, clarification on the lady trooper. I know a lot of you have had problems with that and don't like it and all the old troopers. Yeah, of course they're all troopers. But folks, multiple times, lady troopers that I've known, okay, including a certain very famous lady trooper, I've asked them, okay, and they agree it is a term of endearment and respect. They've got no issue at all being referred to as a lady trooper. Okay, and in a lot of the videos you will hear me referring to and mentioning gent troopers as well. I always say he's a pleasant gent, he's a polite gent, she's a polite lady, etc. Lady and gent, it's not to differentiate based on gender, it's a simple term of endearment and respect that I use when I refer to the female guards because in my mind they are ladies, it's as simple as that. Okay, damn, it's packed. Let's get ourselves out of here, guys. Back to uh, I knew it'd be busy, but what the flip, it's absolutely chocker. Look, thousands of people at the back here wow 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 yeah let's enjoy the peace and quiet in the <laughs> relative peace and quiet in the yard absolutely extraordinary <laughs> god have it look toilets have been delivered on that massive lorry right in front of us it's a toilet truck delivering uh, facilities for the runners essential job but wow what a job eh Okay, so Lady Gatesman, Gent Trooper, uh, having a word with the police about something, I don't know what. Here's our stableman for today. Going over to check on his colleague, the Gatesman. Right, back at the front. Let's see who we've got horse-wise. Gosh, I really hope, one second, let me tell this chap, standing on the bollard, just in case it goes up. Hey guys, sorry, do you speak English? Yes. These go up and down really fast. If it goes up, he was going to fall on the floor. Yeah, they go up really fast. I don't need to fall over. Okay. Thank you. Okay, pleasure. Yeah, standing on the bollard is not a good thing. So it goes up pretty down quick and it would literally, it would shock him and throw him. So they're chill. Damn, it's a pity we don't know this massive horse's name, guys. 
look at the size of it compared to the girls. It's apples over everyone. This trooper probably feels like he's on, uh, on an airplane, sitting up there. Why is the white oxygen mask? When that horse's head is right up fully in the air, it's way over eight foot tall. <laughs> kind of gives the size uh, or the idea of the size and scale of this magnificent beast. And everyone getting pictures with this horse today don't even understand how lucky they are. Because no one <laughs> has probably ever gotten pictures with this horse on Juliet Horse Cars. Why? Because I've never seen this horse, so we've been coming here for a year, guys. What a massive, cute, softy he is. Huge indigo vibes from this horse. Makes you wonder how many others they've got that haven't yet been uh, stamped. Like how many horses are they kind of in training, ready to, to join HCAV? 10, 20, 50, 200? Love to know. I'm not sure that any of the troopers here would know actually because it's probably a bit of a closely guarded secret <clears throat> on the on the stub farm in Ireland where they're bred. Most of them are too wary about getting close, and I can't say I blame them. Okay, well, a lot of mini marathoners. Oh, wait. Hold on, they're gonna run into the quick. Hold on, wait. <laughs> Where are they all coming from? Gosh, it's a lot of. Uh... Oh, I think they've already finished. I think they've completed. They've already got little uh, competitors or winners' medals, or both. Okay, let's hope that this horse that we're looking at now, who I'll ID in a minute, likes uh, Louis Vuitton. Okay, the reason I'm hoping he likes Louis Vuitton uh, is about to become apparent. Get ready for it. the trooper will look at her but he uh, he's not going to I'm trying to figure I'm not sure which language that is Bul Bulgarian maybe Hungarian it's an unusual one right while we've got a moment let's see if we can ID this beauty god it's getting annoying folks but our list of unidentified glorious horses uh, is growing pretty fast let's have a quick look Corporal of Horse. Okay, so the Gatesman, Lady Gatesman, is just a mode for her first rounds. I'm not sure if she'll come over. Let's have a quick look. Right, so the number of this horse is clear. Okay, she's going the other way to begin with. Let's see. Meanwhile, this horse is Revolver, folks. Thank God we ID'd this one, otherwise I'd be crying right now. So, unknown at that end, and Revolver at this end. Oh, this horse is smiling, look. Showing us his beautiful teeth. Revolver. Yeah, a beauty, actually. Let's see what happens when, uh, when the Lady Gatesman comes this way. Just a moment. And with the marathon crowd already out in force, plus usual tourists, plus the fact that it's sunny. Wow. It's going to be a little on the wild side. Okay, so here comes the Lady Gatesman, Gates woman. Oh, lucky the tourist just about moving out of the way in time. She's going through slowly and carefully. Magnificent. 
How that scarlet is popping, folks, in the light today. Oh, hold on, there's an impatient tourist behind, look. Uh, bro. Okay, this is horse is a little bit uh, unsettled. This is this is an easy 17-3. This horse is massive as well. Not as big as the other one, but it's a very big horse. Yeah, well. <laughs> he wasn't sure where to go. <laughs> Bro is right. That pretty much sums up the horse. Hundred percent. That horse is a woo. And we lost the sunlight already. Uh, why are we seeing people in woolly hats and stuff? Guys, let me explain why. This video was shot today, uh, on Saturday, and Saturday, end of April, very cold, okay? This time last week, we were at 20 degrees. When I came out of my club last night on the street, I thought I was uh, in Greenland. I was shocked how cold. It was flipping freezing. It's so cold, that look. Back to mitts, I'm back to mitts, guys, already. I've got like a neck warmer, fleece, mitts, woolen socks. It's crazy cold. How cold? Mm, eight, nine degrees. But it, with a bit of a chilly wind, yeah. You know, it's uh, unseasonably cold, actually. Now, typically, we should be a minimum of 15 to 18 degrees, but we're not. <clears throat> so that joyous 20 degrees we had a week ago was very, very fortunate and very short lived as well. Shame, but there we are. At least we're getting lots of people going up one by one with the horses whilst it's not too busy. Is any folks, just a quick heads up. Um, a lot of people yesterday, because I posted some videos because I was not able to be here to shoot videos, a lot of people made, I would say, from my perspective, disrespectful comments. Okay? Right. Old video, old footage, or why is he posting an old video? Why is there not a new video? I'm going to be honest, guys. Um, it's only a few people, but I banned a lot of them yesterday. Why did I do that? Because as far as I'm concerned, if you don't want to watch the video, don't watch the video. This is a very community focused channel and we have a lot of useful information in the comments from some of you amazing viewers. So anyone writing nonsense completely off topic like, oh, it's an old video or, oh, why didn't you make a video today? Bye bye permanently. So just a heads up to anyone that thinks about being stupid in the comments, I'm now going to be merciless because each video is getting anywhere between 100 and 500 comments. I don't want the useful information, the factual information from so many of the knowledgeable viewers to get lost amongst a, a spaghetti of spam and rubbish that's completely unrelated to the video or the channel. So yeah, I will be coming down very hard on anyone that's writing what I think is a complete waste of time load of rubbish comment about, oh, it's an old video or, uh, oh, he's wrong. Or somebody also wrote yesterday, one of the videos is clickbait. Huh? How the hell is it clickbait? If it's every single frame that's a thumbnail is a single image taken from that day's video before it's posted, how can it be clickbait? Huh? So again, I see that word used in the comments. Bye bye time. Um, you regulars, uh, a long term channel viewers, know full well that I'm all about community and respect on the channel, in the comments particularly. So I think you'll understand why I'm going to be uh, called to be kind. If we get rid of the idiots, they'll leave us alone, and then we can focus on uh, community building, especially if we've got so many new people joining. We want kind, respectful people joining the channel, like the existing viewership, because without the community, the channel's nothing, okay? I can make the videos, but if there's no community, it means there's no viewers, it means no one's gonna watch it, which means I'm wasting my time. So I'm gonna focus massively on uh, community building between now and Christmas. So I do think I did think about adding some certain phrases to the block keyword list, but then I did want potentially other things to get stuck or picked up by the filter. So instead, I'll just manually go through the comments. And folks, ladies and gents, if you regular viewers or long-time viewers or people that have just joined that see comments that are disrespectful or you think are out of order, please feel free to email me. Okay, the email address is on the on my YouTube page on the More tab. Uh, and I will do my very best to get rid of stupid, idiot, idiotic, off-topic, irrelevant, nonsensical uh, and disrespectful comments. I will bin them uh, and I will also permanently mute the user. They can go and create a new account, but I'll mute the new account. Point is, it's much better that we start to clamp down now before it gets out of control. Because some very big YouTube channels have suffered in the past, especially the travel 
uh, vlogging travel channels from uh, massive amounts of spam. Because most people, as you know, most very, very big channel owners don't even read or respond to the comments on the videos. Okay, for me, it is, it is imperative to read as many comments as I can and to try and respond with factual answers to relevant questions about hedge cab, the guards, and things that happen here. So, ran over. I hope you kind of. Uh, yeah, don't worry about the camera, chap. I hope you kind of agree with me, folks. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. But I do think it's better to do a to deal with stupidity at this point whilst the channel is going so fast. A uh, week and a half ago, we hit 50k, guys. We're at 56. That means the exponential growth is really starting to kick in. I mean, to increase the subscriber number by more than 10% um, in less than a fortnight is just amazing, mind-boggling. Uh, so I'll use the opportunity to say, guys, hit like uh, and subscribe. Why? Why not? Uh, subscription is free, people, and always will be. That will never change. It's not some kind of scam to lure you in. Subscriptions to London City Walks are free. Okay, so you can all subscribe. Cost you nothing. Never will cost you a penny. No memberships, whatever. The only difference between that uh, and memberships, which big shout out to the members of the channel uh, who have lovely stars next to their name and always get their comments replied to or answered in priority. Membership numbers are going fast as well, guys. We will hit 500 channel members this year, which is an awful lot, to be fair. Here we go. Magnificent. Look at this. Brilliant. Right on time. I'm thinking probably Irish. Actually, no. No, no I think they... No, they're, they're not, they're not, they're English from, uh, that sounds like a, a northern English accent, right, let me try another one of the teachers in a second, <laughs> oh, I, you, you know, it wasn't because you know it wasn't because of you. He's, he's just doing his rounds, but that shocked you, didn't it? <laughs> where, where, where are you guys down from? Yorkshire. Where, what's the accent? Oh, uh, Southport local. Ah, I, yeah. ah, okay, but that's not a Scouse yeah. accent, is it? That's no, definitely. No, no, we're Southport, so somehow, somehow. So we've got that like, really it's Scouse accent. Southport, so it's a more Borough. Ah, she's got a very Scouse accent. Is it, is it really I, Scouse? Go for it, Julie. I, I am a full on Scouse. <laughs> Wait, does that mean that you say the word Scouse? for breakfast yeah. I wouldn't say scram but uh, no I can say scram and chicken <laughs> but I don't say it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, wait. Spits. somebody's lunch Spits. Is somebody yeah. left their packed lunch on the floor yeah. no none of you left your packed lunch come on from there yeah. <laughs> almost just fell over a sandwich look that sandwich that somebody left on the floor I almost just tripped over it I just squashed somebody's crisps uh, and almost destroyed their sandwich oops Okay, so this group, amazing group here, looks like uh, they've been down to participate in the mini marathon. They're from Sefton, massive group, look at them all, huge group, uh, who are basically using horse cars for probably the biggest ever single group picture that's ever been taken at horse cars. Look at the size of the group. Wow. And they're very proud. You can see the teachers are super proud of their pupils. Look at this, amazing. What are we thinking, guys? 60, 70 kids, maybe more? Wait, I need to move back a bit because I can't fit everyone in. Whoa. That is the biggest group picture that I've ever seen here at Horse Guards. <laughs> Squeeze in. We're going to end up pushing each other on the floor. <laughs> They're saying we can't squeeze in. Telling the photographer to move back. And the bag's in the way, aren't they? Oh god, now the bags are in the way of the picture. <laughs> Seriously? I mean, okay, we've got the expert now with the camera. They can do it. I'll tell them about the channel as well so they can all see that they're on it because what a lovely group, eh? Hey everybody! Take the marathon! Wow, make me proud. What a lovely group.
That was really, really a pleasure to see. It really was, actually. Gosh. They were super lovely, weren't they? They really were. Can I give you a heads up? Yeah. Uh, I got your all... I was talking to some of your colleagues over yeah. there. I know you're from Seft in your group. Yeah, that's it. All of it, including the picture and how well-behaved everyone was, is going to be on that YouTube channel. Oh, OK. Tonight, you'll all be on it. London City Walks. Amazing. OK, I'll yeah, get everyone were, to follow. They were great. That's the biggest single group picture I've ever seen oh, taken here. that's cool. Thanks so much. Have a good Thank day, guys, yeah? Amazing. So it gave them the heads up, folks, so they could see themselves. And they should rightly be proud because they were absolutely charming. Teachers were brilliant, so nice, so kind. Uh, I guess that's going to be, I don't know, 80 new channel subscribers today. I guess we'll find out shortly. But wow, what a day. The new, uh, new household division recruits that went in with GSM Stokes still haven't emerged. I would ideally like to get them uh, in the video as they come out, not in any kind of stall crew way. Uh, I think, without being arrogant, they know who I am because I've had uh, a message from a friend of mine that works at Wellington thanking me uh, on behalf of a lot of the families for capturing footage of their sons and daughters on their first ever day, in some cases, even though they're English, their first ever day, their first ever time in London for a lot of these young troopers. Would you believe it? I never would have thought about that, about how many British people, uh, especially young British people, have never left their hometowns or other regions in the UK, Welsh, uh, Northern Irish, Scottish, to come down here to London. It's extraordinary to think about it, but it makes sense. Yeah? Given the absolute ridiculous rip-off cost of uh, train travel in the UK, it's not exactly easy to get from, I don't know, Carlisle, Durham, Rotherham, Harrogate, or anywhere in South Wales for that matter, to central London. We're talking a couple of hundred pounds just for the train. Double that for the hotel and double it again for the food. 500, 600 pounds for a day trip to London. Completely ridiculous, but welcome to uh, Broken Britain, people. That's the way it is these days. Okay, I'm going to shut up a bit now and just enjoy the. <laughs> uh, everyone's dressed like going skiing. This is Courcheval. In fact, it, would, it wouldn't, wouldn't be Courcheval either, would it? It would be Horse, horse Cheval. <laughs> I hope my friend's here. Hey boss, you alright? Yeah, yeah, very good. So good that the small marathon's going that way. I was worried they'd run past it, like destroy every video, but they're all they're running that way. Down there instead. Uh, the little, it's, a, it's that mini marathon, like the junior version. That's what these groups are for. But they've, they've nearly finished, so. Yeah, yep, yep. Luckily for us. Oh, hold on a second. Horse is not a happy boy over here. Look at this. He's clipping and clopping about. Oh. Yeah, people are standing on the bar because right? so they're kind of trapped midway up and down, so. Oh! Oh! He's not a happy horse, is he? This not today, is it? Wow, he's not. He wants to go and take part in the mini marathon, everyone. Yep, the horse definitely wants to join the marathon. Just to confirm, guys, this is Revolver, this horse, who is not a happy boy at all. Whoa, look at this, a full 360. Okay, Lady Gatesman's out, but she's actually waiting patiently behind me before approaching the horse, which is something I've never seen before. Here she comes. Okay, Gatesman versus Massive Horse. Who's going to win? Wow, that's extraordinary. I can't believe it happened right in front of the camera. Now we've got the Welsh contingent arriving, guys. She's coming through the gate. Look, horse is fine for a second. As usual, it's always Lady Trooper that settles down the horse. This is, yep, I'm pretty sure it's the Welsh flag coming through the gate. Bidding. Oh, look at this. She's adjusting his plume with her sword. Don't forget the trooper's uh, plume is a good between eight and nine feet in the air. I don't know actually what freaked the horse out because there was no traffic, no marathon, nothing out of the ordinary just happened in front of me. And as you guys were aware, there's no noise, but the horse is not happy at all. Look. Lady Trooper just like, you know what? Settle yourself down, boy, otherwise I'm going to settle you down. 
out. Look, she doesn't care. She's doing an amazing job, not flinching at all when the horse is trying to rear a little bit. Extraordinary. Well done, that trooper. Absolutely brilliant. Massive respect. Always the lady troopers, guys. I've got to say it. Not to be disparaging to the chaps, but the lady troopers have got that special touch. We've seen it many times. She's talking with her colleague at the moment, the other horse, uh, probably asking him, how the hell are you able to breathe up there without an oxygen mask? Which, to be honest, is a surprise. Let's hope Revolver settles himself down. Normally when they've had a bit of a meltdown, that meltdown tends to reoccur, as we've seen so many times recently. And looking across the street, I mean, okay, we've got police vehicles in the middle today. Could possibly be the fact that the street looks kind of blocked, but it's not the first time. What a morning, flipping heck. Okay, I think we're good. I think he's okay. I wanted to talk to the Welsh group. It's such a pity, actually, that they came through so quickly. We so, so very, very rarely get to hear Welsh accents in London. It's an incredibly rare thing. And I've got a bit of a soft spot for Wales uh, because I remember spending a lot of time in uh, a place like Kef and Bryn and so on uh, when I was a, a schoolboy a long, long time ago. So a definite soft spot for all things Welsh. And that's, yeah, that's probably the rarest accent to hear to be honest, in central London these days. I'm not sure that everyone uh, has finished or where everyone's going, because they're all leaving the front. Not runners, as you can see, everyone's like well-dressed in uh, proper winter clothing. It is, it's really chilly, guys, when the wind blows. Look. I noticed last night, actually, how many people were sort of coughing and spluttering on the street. I think a lot of people came out after work for a drink or a meal. And when they came out after eating or having something to drink, I had no clue it would be that cold on the street. Uh, and boom, spluttering starts. <laughs> Back to giant Morris horse at this end. This one seems absolutely chill as anything. It seems to me that the carriage horses and I'm presuming this was probably a carriage horse just due to its posture and the way it looks. Carriage horses seem to have a little bit more resilience when it comes to noise, confusion and kerfuffle on the street. They just seem, I know, to take it in their stride, uh, <laughs> to, to, to use a phrase, not intentionally, but good to see them out in the, in the bobby hats, bobby helmets, which we don't see as much as, uh, as we used to, folks. Those are the police helmets of my youth. So many of the officers now wear I wouldn't quite say baseball caps, but can I ask you a question, officer? Yeah, of course. What's the occasion that means that you wear these hats as opposed to the normal baseball caps that we see most of the time these days? So if we're out on mobile patrol and you're in a car, it's quite difficult to get your helmet on, so we wear a baseball cap. Okay. But if we're out sort of foot patrol as well today, we wear a helmet all bit ceremonial. Ah, I was just thinking, this kind of reminds me of my childhood. It's so That's rare right. to see you guys with the, with the proper bobby helmet. Yeah, I'm still wearing I'm still wearing Yeah? Great stuff. Thanks a lot. Have a good day, guys. Okay, that explains it. Logic uh, is the answer, fundamentally. In other words, it is hard to be on patrol with a bobby helmet. I mean, maybe if they started issuing all London Metropolitan Police officers with a customised Range Rover uh, Evoque, ideally Mansori, if they had the choice, then uh, they could fit their helmets. Oh. Baseball cats are one way around. There's always like a bit of a, of a sign that potentially somebody might be a little bit... What's the word looking for? Um, I might push the luck a teeny bit. This is a Nordic group, I think. Danish, Swedish, I don't know. Norwegian, perhaps. Sounds like it, but I might be wrong. Dutch, maybe? What do we think, guys? Help me out here with the language. I'm trying to look on their tops and to see if anyone's got any kind of obvious... You know, T-shirts to say, "Hey, I love Copenhagen," but can't see it. Are they going to be good or well behaved? Let's see. My money, everyone, is on Danish. I'm not sure if this lady here is waiting for a picture or she's part of the group. 
Yeah, I'm definitely thinking Danish. Oh. Don't do it. Don't head into the arches. Guys, what's the Danish word for cheese? I wait for it. Somebody say taka. Or skål. Or something else. <laughs> to give it away. Uh, they're, they're pretty sure. I don't think... Uh, and I don't want to judge, but baseball caps the, the wrong way around. There's always a little bit of a... <laughs> okay. Let's wait and see kind of moment for me. However... Not on this occasion. Pretty sure they were Danes. But guys, let me know if you could... Uh, understand the language. One thing I do love about this channel, going back to my earlier point about community building, is if I ask about how to say this or blah blah blah, questions about languages or other things in other countries, one of you has always got the answer. Every single time. Wait. Oh, that's oh, that's a shop work. I was just like, is that girl come out of the arches? Yeah, the shop's about to be opened, everybody. Oh, our first beauties of the day. Look at this. Ta-da. Oh, I recognise the officer on the left-hand side. I wonder which one he's on today. Magnificent. Wow. That dapple grey. In fact, there's uh, more police on the street today here in central London than I've seen for a hell of a long time. The trooper on this side is massively... Uh, keeping the tourists happy today I did notice I'm not sure if you can see it I'm not going to zoom in because it's not important that he, he has pretty uh, badly scuffed the boot his left boot from that fall but it is what it is it's going to take a bit of, a bit of polish to get that out and back to normal but if anyone knows about uh, about keeping boots in pristine condition it's these guys and girls I just remembered actually folks that uh, when we hit the bell it's the morning inspection actually no 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 they're not going to have a morning inspection because of, at the back they can't there will be no morning inspection this morning obviously because there's no space for a morning inspection unless they might do a mini inspection here in the yard I mean it's 20 minutes to 11 so let's see what happens I always seem to love it and want to capture that moment when somebody stamps. Uh, and moves away. I guess it makes that picture or video a little bit unusual. There will probably be a part two this today, uh, simply because tomorrow this place and most of Central London will be closed. Uh, hence there being no, as far as I'm aware, Probably no live or pre-recorded coverage of events of horse cars tomorrow. Anyone even trying is going to have a problem due to the marathon PA systems. But the key thing for me is obviously to get as much as we can while the weather holds up. Uh, yesterday morning was very, very, very mushy, so it actually worked out very well that I wasn't able to be outside yesterday. It worked out very well. Uh, in other words, I don't think, watching the other videos that were taken from me yesterday, that we missed anything particularly unusual or unique. I really could not care less about how much is going on around us. <laughs> Dutchies are having so much fun with their videos. Look. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yep, so 18 and a half minutes until the train goes over. Um, I'll wait and see no other time because I do think there will be a mini inspection in the yard. Oh, I might be wrong. Let's see. If there isn't, then part two will be the changeover um, and the two other horses, which will form today's second pair. Second pair, fourth pair. The roller, the 
thing in the mouth is a roller, it settles the horses. It's a roller on the bird. Yeah. So it's not disturbing. No, no, no. They, they, they play with it a lot of the time. They, they quite toss it around in their mouth. Yeah, it rolls around. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a roller. It's not, not mean or cruel. No, I know. A lot of people think that the horses are upset. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry to interrupt, but I thought you'd want to. My, no, my pleasure. My pleasure. This is, this is one that I don't think has ever been here. Well, I've never seen this horse here this year. I think it's a new one. It's huge. Isn't it? I mean, it's a massive horse. And the beauty, eh? Real beautiful that horse. Big as well. That one's big. Yeah, this, this one's. This, this one is smaller than this one. Yeah, that one is just on. I'd say that one's probably 17. Three. This one's definitely over 18 pounds. Yeah. Massively. Yeah. I don't know the name of this one, but that one's called Revolver. If it helps. One hour. Just an hour. Then they're off and a new pair come out. So that will be happening shortly. Thanks, uh, guys. See you. Just dashing through. I actually ran through somebody's picture there. They're coming out. Uh, they're done. All the troopers have finished their induction or whatever it was they had going on here. And it's likely, based on what we've seen previously, uh, that there will be group shots. I'm hoping there will be. Let's see. And if there are going to be group shots, we will be there to capture them. Why? Why not? So GSM Stokes is going to come out. Yeah, it's so funny. I was talking to one of the guys earlier. He said the thing that about all this lot is that you don't... Oh, here he is. You don't... <laughs> Which is fair enough. I'm loving this guy, the one that was in the middle. He's the one that spoke to us earlier, folks, the uh, Irish chap. What a fellow he is. Real character. What a credit they are, eh? Look at them all. They're looking absolutely dapper. Brilliant stuff. There's the chief. Just some stokes going back inside. I'm sure they're going to have a group shot. Although, to be honest, I would have actually thought they would have a group shot with just some stokes. Okay, no else. They're actually waiting patiently uh, for instructions. Hold on, here we go. So they're lining up. Wow. The, uh, the gates were just about had enough space to get through. And off she goes. Okay, I'll leave them to it. I don't want to be too intrusive. We've, we've seen them. We know how good they look. Uh, and they're going to be a credit to the country, without a doubt. Well done, guys. And girls. Oh, sorry, it's a bit hard. Sorry. I was bashed into the toys that was standing right behind me. So I squashed somebody's packed lunch there already. Um, and then crisps. Somebody's going to have uh, have to drink their crisps today for lunch, I think. Right, okay, so we're back. Back with Revolver, Lady Gatesman. Uh, and smiling happy trooper who seems to be pretty chill despite Revolver's early meltdown. Mm. He's a real beauty this one, he really is. Damn quick, then. Good to see them all moving out of respect. They just walk into you Hey, that guy just said to his daughter, they'll just walk into you otherwise. In other words, good that you got out of the way. And he's right. She wouldn't, this lady trooper wouldn't, uh, but she has the right to. If there was no choice, uh, she could push through. 
Notice how the troopers having to lean down to even speak to her because the horse is so big. Massive, but at, for the moment, a single size, move back a tiny bit because I'm inviting her away if she decides to come back quickly. She's not where I want to be for obvious reasons. back a teeny bit because this part of the road is closed so there's no chance of me getting knocked over uh, this as I said earlier was where the marathon was running it's now finished it's done so I'm super glad that uh, that was run early unlike tomorrow's which will be run around lunchtime hence this place being closed tomorrow I'll try moving closer to revolver easier said than done <laughs> I really love it when people cough in my face. So polite and considerate. Come on, it's you. Come on, Torres, roll up for us. Show us what you're made of, guys and girls. I'm trying, folks, to move back to the post behind me, but for the moment, everyone's taking their pictures at the post. Nice hustle bustle, though, at the front this morning. Look. Right, here we go. Finally got a bollard to lean on. It's a rather lovely cook that. Jealous actually, to be honest with you. Very. Saying behind the most famous person in London, everybody take a picture. I think he thinks it's the same guy that's here 24 hours a day. Uh, even though we certainly isn't. Where for the moment I will stay. Oh, here is our morning inspection. Tori just decided to stand in the uh, lieutenant's way. Yeah, definitely a lieutenant. Okay, that's unexpected. So he's conducting the morning inspection with a zillion tourists. That was very much unexpected. Goodness. I was <laughs> in the right place at the right time, I guess, tonight. Plus, everyone's now gone to the other end to follow him. I'm going to stay here. 
I don't know if he's inspected the uh, Tritzman engagement. However, there's only one way to find out. See? I like the way that he's walking around the tourists. He shouldn't have to. But like the gen that he is, he doesn't want to dream of uh, having to, for example, push a woman out of the way. I generally surprise people that uh, there's an inspection because last week, for example, they didn't, the uh, officer didn't even come to the front. A normal weekend, and no officer came to the front to inspect the boxman. Yet today, when uh, there's a hell of a lot of people about, as you can see, all wondering who he is, and why he's out and about, uh, we've got the officer walking through the yard. This place is, it has no rhyme and rhythm, which, to be honest, is one of the things that I love about it. The unexpected. Done. And then he goes. Yeah. Like, why would there have not been an inspection last week? But there is one this week. Last week, the yard was closed, uh, and there was a full dismount. This week, there's a zillion people. In other words, this surely would be a massively higher security risk than last week with how many people here? Hundreds. Uh, and the officer having to weave in out of the crowd. Very curious. But hey, there we are. I do like the unexpected, uh, as you all know, and that was very much the unexpected. Bro with the red headphones really, really, really likes that horse. So do I. Oh, hold on, what's this? Like a marathon. Oh, I think actually, are they um, marathon chairs? Oh, marathon, marathon wheelchairs? Competitors' wheelchairs? God, you need to have an awful lot of upper body strength to uh, propel yourself forward in one of those. Respect to those guys. Wow. So it's at the front now, I'm not. That's what happens when you get distracted. Wait. It's okay. right back in front, which is where I'm going to stay uh, until we know what's happening with the changeover. It's exactly five minutes. Uh, so at the end of this video, I'll either be at the front here, expect a normal changeover, or head into the yard onto the corner for a good shot of the two new horses. We will see. At least there isn't gonna be a break for a gate closure for a morning inspection. That's now done. <laughs> this little dude loves the fact that the horse is, uh, look. Good stuff. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I think he got the best dad-son dad, uh, dad -son picture video whatever ever. That was really, really perfect. Oh, hold on a second. What the flip? The marathon's still ongoing. What's this, like the last, uh, last stragglers or... I don't know, I'm lost. However, I do think this is gonna unsettle the other horse again, potentially. I hope it doesn't, but it might. That was the only thing that happened before, before he had his little moment, so let's see. Yeah. Obviously this time he's not gonna care less, he's not gonna even flinch. Yeah, look. Not, not moving, yeah. couldn't care less this time. Yeah. 
I said ears are back a little bit, aren't they? <laughs> Doors are open at the back, so the changeover is imminent, uh, as is the end of this video. <laughs> Oh. Are they going to get a second perfect move with the other horse? The kid is super curious about the horses. <laughs> wow, I'm kind of already rethinking the yard. Unless I can get on that corner. Yeah, that's what I'll do, guys. I'm going to head into the yard. Um, I will resume shortly for part two. The office is now going to start moving everybody back behind the bollards, which is going to be a bit of a struggle this morning, considering how busy it is. But yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes, guys, on the corner for a nice, clear opening shot of the two new horses in part two. This part one, wow. I mean, it seems to me like about 10 minutes ago that the... Uh, the new guard fell over in, in the tunnel, so I'm genuinely surprised how quickly that went over. It went really, really, really quickly. So I'm going to get over onto the corner, people. Bingo. And this is where, shortly, I will resume for part two. Back in a few minutes, guys, for part two. Bye for now.